Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at a flowchart and we're going to try and make a program based on that flowchart. This is called Generate Username and it's a question from a previous exam paper. So I've given you the flowchart and uh, a really long explanation of exactly what the flowchart should do. What should it do? It generates a, a username, a, like a school login username, based on a student's first name, last name and their year of entry. Um, if somebody's username is already taken, then it would add a sharp symbol or hashtag to the end of the username and then check that that's then unique. The keyword here is unique. Okay, we can't have two people with the same username. So I've included a list of existing names already so that we can uh, test this. Inside this uh, list of names, you can already see that there's two people called A. Jones um, and they joined the school in 2016. Um, this one might be called uh, Alice and this might be Andy. But this person had to have a hashtag put at the end because their username wouldn't be unique otherwise. So I'm going to go ahead and try to run uh, write this program. So um, the game plan is use the flowchart. Okay, so when you're doing this, you need to make sure you use flowchart. And the first thing I'm going to do is get the user inputs, get the first name, get last name, get year of entry. Okay, so I'm going to get user inputs and then first name is equal to input, last name is equal to input year of entry is equal to input now you might have thought year of entry should be an integer but we're not going to do any mathematical calculations with it so we might as well just keep it as a string in fact it would be better if we did that next thing i'm going to look at have a look at the flow chart and see what we've got to do next we've got to create a new variable called initial and that's the first letter of the first name. So here I'm going to comment my code up. Uh, create initial variable and so initial is equal to first name and uh, it's the zeroth character. So this is where Python's really good, um, really nice and easy to identify the zeroth character just by putting square bracket zero. You need to look at your specification to see what you should really write in the exam, but this would get you the marks. So next, create the username, which is the year of entry, but remember it's only the last two digits and the last name and the initial. So. Add a comment so people can understand what it's about. Username is equal to so year of entry. And I'm going to take a slice to get the last two digits. And that's that there. Remember, year of entry, if it was something like 2020 or let's say 2019, um, the zeroth digit is a two, the first digit is a zero. The next digit is a one. So here, if we see that, then the two is in position zero, the zero is in position one. And these are the two things we want. And it starts at two and goes to the end. So that's what we would have there. Okay, next I want to add the uh, last name plus the initial. Okay, if you were doing this as a, a programming project, then you would normally do printouts and uh, and test runs here. Um, but the exam style question, we'll just do it as it is. Next is, um, is the username in the user list? If it is, that's not good. And we need to add a hashtag to it. So, um, and it's a loop. It's, it, I know it's a, it's a diamond, which indicates a decision 
but this is a loop because it goes back up the way okay so if it's a loop it's going to be a while and here we're going to say while well, username in user list so that's a really nice easy way to do it okay well username and user list python again being really good and if this is the case if we're inside here it means that it's not unique so we need to concatenate yeah concatenate add an extra string to that and that's it there okay so here the comment would be um, checking username already taken okay and finally print out result and I'm going to print username okay it didn't ask us to add it to the list or anything like that so we just do exactly what it said okay and then I can run the tests um, well, first of all, I'll just try and run it myself. Okay. Tom Mackay joined the school in 2019, and then it's 19 Mackay T, and that's fine. Okay. Now I'll run the tests, and it passes the tests, and I will submit that, and it will pass that as well. So let's just have another look at that program. So here, there was an existing user list which contained all the um, all the people that have already been assigned usernames. Um, get the inputs, create the initial variable, create the username, then a while loop, which will add a hashtag to the end, a sharp symbol to the end, then eventually print out the username. Now really, I should run this just to make sure that, for example, if I type in Amy Jones 2016, Hopefully it will it will print out with two hashtags. It will go through the while loop once, add a hashtag, that's still not unique, and it'll do it again. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna do Amy Jones 2016. I'm gonna run that now. Amy Jones 2016. And there you go. 16 Jones A hashtag hashtag. That looks good i'll submit that it's got an error um i don't know what that error is so i'm just going to do it again and it works excellent hopefully this was helpful uh let me know if uh, you want any uh, more explanation about this task